seven inches. Okay. Yeah. Good to know. Blah. Jessica, what is the first headline of the day? Okay, so Idaho State Senator was arrested um, after being drunk inside of a car that he stole and then got stuck inside of. Anybody? No? Did he say that again? Did he like lock okay, his keys so outside the car? John McNee, McGee was wandering around and had apparently <laughs> stolen a truck and then got stuck in the guy's driveway that Sunday. He was drunk, stole a truck, got stuck in the truck, okay. and then had to call police to help him get out of the truck that he tried to steal. I'm gonna, he just got $10 from me to his re-election yeah. campaign. <laughs> yeah. What an idiot. I mean, really, like... How do you do that? Yeah, that's yeah. They lock the keys outside the car. I mean, the the truck. Well, he's. St- I like to just. The, the, I like the the mental state to. Pre- let me just go get hammered and steal some cars. I'm a senator. Yeah. Right, right. I'm I a don't senator. Know. Let me go take a truck. <laughs> well, we would talk about this like the Wienergate stuff. Do you do this because you are a powerful figure, or do you think these are idiots getting elected into office? It's probably a combination of both. Yeah. Amazing. Something. It's some dumb idiot thinking, oh, if I get elected into office, I'll have enough power to do whatever I want. I just want to be a senator so I can finally realize my dream of stealing trucks while intoxicated. Yeah. Why are you stealing a truck? I don't know. All right. So cigarette packages will tell the ugly truth in 2012. Federal officials are taking off the gloves and they are putting on awful God awful pictures onto cigarette packages. So instead of just having a warning sign that says warning cigarettes can cause strokes or heart disease, there's actually going to be a, like a picture of somebody mm-hmm. with, you know, like the mask and dying. Shouldn't there be a picture of a clogged artery and a Big Mac? Yeah. What do you think of this? Oh, that's it. That's yeah. exa- that's like exactly what I said. I think it's bullshit that they want to put this on cigarette packs to scare people from smoking. They should do the same thing for food companies. They might. This is just no. I, I I doubt they will. It's like they they want to enforce that whole fat tax or whatever, make fattening foods higher in cost to keep people. You know, it's like they they they, they put out like healthier know. meals at certain places. Come on, it's bullshit. Show everybody the fat woman on the freaking rascal and let them know that, listen, that they're going to look like a Big Mac. Listen, if they keep I, I think I, I don't I don't think there should be any kind of these stupid labels because uh, we should be allowed to eat whatever we want. I don't think it should be regulated. I don't I, I think everybody knows that cigarettes are bad and tobacco is bad for you and, and cancer happens from the nicotine and nicotine Here's is addictive problem. and all this yeah. stuff. But why? Why are we? babysitting everybody in this country. I don't understand the babysitting aspect of this. Well, the, one of the things about the Obama administration that they believe in is they do believe in this kind of like cradle to the grave mentality of we are here, the government is here to tell you what to eat, what to do for a living, how yeah. to get health insurance. It's there to do everything for you. So if you say to the government, listen, I need, I want health insurance. I want this. I want that. The government's going to say, okay, well, well, here's what to eat. Here's what you can and can't put in your body. See, the minute, like, when you're asking your parents for something, hey, can I have 20 bucks? What are you doing with the money? It's none of your business. It's none of my big, it's my money. Yeah. Same principle. Well, yeah. the, you know, this, this goes in the whole universal health care thing, right? How right. far are they going to push this? Because right. now, since they're paying for it, right. uh, are they going to eliminate fast food? Well, this was... Are um, they going to make it illegal? This was another, get a whopper? another news story in um, government workers in a certain area were told that they couldn't have more than a quarter of a muffin at a time in a sitting. Like you had to it's eat ridiculous. a quarter of your muffin. You had to cut your muffin into fours and then only eat a quarter of it. And you couldn't go back and eat the rest of your muffin for a certain amount there of There is hour. a belief no. among the people that run the country right now that Americans can't really handle the freedom they have. So they have to limit it. I believe that. Well, yeah, I believe that. You think so? you think the government should limit our ability? No, I don't believe that oh. they should. I believe that they believe they should. They believe I believe that, that, they, that they believe that freedom is great. However, it's misused, um, and the people are, you know, I think, and, 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 and every now and then we do misuse it. We have the, we have well, a mortgage we're crisis, gluttons, we have right? We're like that. You know, and then people say, okay, the mortgage you know, crisis happened. Look at that. We had a bunch of you know guys go in there. It was a, a market that was deregulated and made a mess. So now we go in there, they've overregulated that market and they've driven good people out of it. Same thing with fast food. We're gluttons, we've step, you know. Well, they wanted to what was the story? Uh, they were thinking about eliminating the N word from Tom Sawyer, right? No, was it Tom Sawyer? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was Tom Sawyer. And I'm thinking Was that Tom are, Sawyer or Huck Finn? It was It was it was Huck Finn. 
Was it not the? I thought it was the Bible. The Bible, yes, that they wanted to do that. From <laughs> <laughs> was it Huck Finn or well, Tom yeah, Sawyer? Well, one of them. Right. They want to matter. remove the N word, right? Uh-huh. And this guy was talking. Goes, why do we have to have that in the English language? And I'm thinking, are you crazy? Like, isn't this what we fear? Censorship in books. I could write a book, and I'm not saying it's the right thing to do, but I could write a book, and all it says, it's Huck Finn, uh, is the N word, top to bottom. 180 pages of the N-word. I have the right to do that. I could do that. Pat Buchanan has already written that book. Pat Buchanan wrote that book three times. Uh, But it's my right. So Huck Finn has the N-word in there. It's to do with the times. Sure. And and we were under this pretense where, well, that was the past. Let's forget about it. Well, no, we never learned from that. We'll never learn that that's how they spoke then. And now we're such an evolved society. And I was blown away. And it was this... um, it was like a civil rights activist, a black guy. And I'm thinking, well, this goes against everything you're working for because you're not teaching people how, what it was like. Right. You want people to know that, you know, there was, there, was, uh, there was mistreatment of the African-Americans and black people. Mm-hmm. And there was all this hatred and racism. Look how much we've evolved. But, but this guy doesn't want that. He wants it to, you know, the, the word should be banned. It's the most ridiculous thing. And if we start censoring classic literature in this country we i i mean it's just it's where does it stop what else do you eliminate do you take out rapes from a book do you uh what else right. are you going to censor right. are you going to censor uh, uh shakespeare because there were rapes in shakespeare are you going to are you going to censor uh, i'm just trying to come up with another book uh well didn't they want to do that with uh catcher in the rye well, it's also a streetcar named Desire. There was, yeah, y- you know. I mean, what? Where do you stop censoring? What do you start doing? It's ridiculous. It's such a ridiculous let's, let's concept. Just, let's just have a book burning party. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll yeah, throw yeah. Our yeah. Cigarettes let's start doing that. Fahrenheit nine eleven. We'll throw cigarettes. No, Fahrenheit of that was it. Right? Four fifty one. Four fifty one. Uh, Fahrenheit 1922. <laughs> <laughs> Fahrenheit 803. Am Fahrenheit I right? Fahrenheit 1982. Yeah. I like that people are like. The biggest problem when it comes to racism, nobody's reading Huck Finn. Who's the last Who's, person that's read yeah. Huck Finn? Right. Who under the age of 70 has even read that book? Nobody under the age of 20 has read anything. It blows my mind. It, it honestly... Except it a honestly, warrant. It blows my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Only thing anyone that's fucking read. All right, so the Montauk Project is a new film that takes on allegations of mind control, time travel, and alien encounters at a military base. Okay, so this is all going on in Montauk. What is it? What's going on? Mind control and UFOs and all sorts of craziness apparently going on in Montauk. They believe that this Air Force is... Oh, my God. Crazy people. ...haunted or possessing people or something to that. And the video is a documentary, and it's called The Montauk Project. A docudrama called The Montauk Chronicles. Is it going to be in 3D? No. Oh, then I don't want to see it. All right. So the Montauk Chronicles. Nobody's actually been able to prove any of, of these allegations. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, one's, no one's interviewed any of the aliens from the Montauk yeah. Project yeah. as of yet. <laughs> but, you know, we do remain with our fingers crossed. Hopefully they'll come out for the movie. Yeah. All right. Well, All right, the Flint then. Management Group <laughs> is offering <laughs> Anthony Weiner a job. Oh, Larry Flint's oh, Management wow. Group? Yeah. How about Wiener and Casey Anthony? We're showing VH1. We're offering you a job. (laughs) Hey, Anthony. (laughs) You want a job with us here? It's sad that your Flint Flint is a... management. Yeah. That's my Larry Flint. Yeah, your Flint is actually not bad. Or anybody else that was shot in the face. Yeah. Good point. Okay, so Hugh Hefner, you know, he broke up. With Crystal Harris. No, no, she, she dumped. She dumped him. Whatever. But Hugh actually is letting her keep the engagement ring, which I think is odd. And she doesn't, she wants to give it back. Yeah, it's three carats and yeah. $90,000. I saw $200,000. Well, it said 90000 Maybe he got it on sale. Maybe he got it on three sale. Three carat diamond. I, uh, That's eh? it, though? Three yeah. carats? And it's actually not that. Nice. Really? Like it's not yeah, interesting looking. It's like he knew like this wasn't. <laughs> this was not an investment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, three carats. That's, you're, you'll I'll spend ninety grand. And she was like on the radio the next day, kind of like talking about it and how like she just didn't feel right. Well, she tried to sell the story for a half a million dollars, and she had decided like a month ago that she was going to leave him at the altar, and she was looking to sell the story, 
And she was hoping to do it while, because it was being recorded. It was like mm. a reality show that we're going to air. So the season finale, you know, were they getting married? She would just say, I can't do this and take off. Uh-huh. And she was hoping to sell a story with it at yeah. the last minute. She couldn't. Nobody was biting the story. Oh. And somebody leaked it to Hef that she's planning on doing this. What you know what? That's, that's, she's a scale. You yeah. know what I mean? You're already getting a ton. You know, you got a ton of nice perks. Yeah. yeah. That really should. You're going to try to do something underhanded like that? Well, he probably has his own secrets. That's and bull- she, Marry me, he, Hef. I would, know, do, I would never do anything like that. He probably offered her the <laughs> ring to stay quiet with the rest of this. I'm sure. I'm sure there's a lot going on in that house. What, what, what do you think? He's 80-something years old. What, 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 what story could come out about Hef that we really we would be blown away by? I couldn't tell you. So in he a new a study, rascal. whining mm-hmm. is the most annoying sound. Oh, yeah. Close seconds, Dogs barking. nails on a chalkboard, baby crying, sirens, heavy heavy drilling, but baby crying. No, not on the list. What is wrong with well, people? infant crying? Yes, but much lower than everything else. And so apparently, whining is the worst. What about people eating? Is that not annoying to anybody? Cat like sounds is also on the list. Meow, meow, meow. Or like, uh, this was done at I SUNY Cl- Clark University. I, I can't stand uh, dogs barking right? Uh, when I'm trying to sleep <laughs> at 11 o'clock at night. And then I have to go downstairs on the couch. And then one of my brothers comes down to make a fucking Pop-Tart. And he lights up the entire house. Every light needs to turn on. What kind of Pop-Tart was it? Raspberry. Oh, the frosted? or yeah, like No, frosted. Oh. Do they even make the ones without frosting? Yeah, like originals? You could get it? Yeah. You can Who them. buys that? I haven't had a Pop-Tart in a, in a million years. I want to have a pop tart and watch garbage pail kids. All right. Well, there's a chef that is in Australia that's charging customers five dollars and thirty cents for a glass of tap water. That's ballsy, isn't it? I thought so. Well, you want tap water, you got to pay up, right? Only ten dollars for a bottle of water, like bottled water. But five there, it does. It's unlimited. You can mm-hmm. order that after, as much as you want, but really? Okay. Have a foster. By the way, do we want an update of the Casey Anthony trial? Please. Courtesy of uh, ABC affiliate. It's been 16 minutes. ABC I'm dying Action to know News. Let, let's find out. I don't know who the uh, affiliate Casey is. Casey Anthony takes another twist in court. Her mother, Cindy, now says she's the one who performed Google searches online for the word chloroform. And after testimony wraps up today, we're expecting to hear from the Anthony family attorney, Carson Chambers has been following today's dramatic developments in the, in this case. Carson? Good evening, Brendan. What Cindy Anthony told jurors on the stand seemed to surprise the state, and a prosecutor made sure that they knew she changed her story. The state says Casey Anthony searched chloroform, neck breaking, and household weapons on a computer. Household weapons? Like, what are you searching? She, what is she going to make? How can I get her with a whisk? Yeah. Like, what is she going to make? Is she going to make her own axe? Like, like she, she's like the, the, the natives of Papua New Guinea? Like, she's going to make, she's gonna make weapons out of... Doesn't that speak to intent, though? Googling household <laughs> weapons. What do you intend to do with the weapon? But in an unexpected twist today, Cindy Anthony testified she looked up one of those words on the family desktop. Well, I started looking at chlorophyll, and... By the way, this is my theory. How many Xanax has she taken? Who, Cindy? Cindy. Yeah, Cindy's. Right now. I mean, how many Xanax has this poor woman taken? Um, I was concerned about um, my smallest Yorkie. We have two Yorkie puppies. Both of the dogs would eat the bamboo leaves out in the back. So I started looking up sources from the backyard that could potentially cause her to be more sleepy than it would affect the larger dog. And I started looking up chloroform. I mean, chlorophyll, and then that prompted me to look up chloroform. The record show. What? what a convoluted what? story. I, that so is confused. bull. I don't understand. What a convoluted what, story. What, what got you into household weapons? <laughs> what prompted and that? And then I went to go get my nails done. Yeah. And then I came home, yeah. and I had a glass of water, so I looked uh, yeah. up H2O. I was looking up Doogie Then Hauser. CO2, yeah. and then I came up right, with... Yeah. Crack cocaine. Right. <laughs> Andy was working. She told jurors she was home when chloroform was Googled. You told me at your deposition that you searched for chlorophyll. Correct? Yes. And you spelled chlorophyll for me. Yes. Do you recall that? 
Yes. There were also some tense moments between an expert witness and prosecutor Jeff Ashton. Dr. Barry Logan's been critical of the air tasks from Casey's trunk that helped the state's case. State's Exhibit 143 in evidence. State's Exhibit 322 in evidence. State's Exhibit 323 in evidence. It's a can of tomato soup. Have you ever seen any of those? No. Um, circumstances with Mr. Ashton going up near the jury with the evidence, and it appeared somewhat, um, I guess, dramatic. Also dramatic, the state asserted Cindy is lying about the computer searches, that she's changed her story from her original deposition, a flip flop that could be damaging to the state's case. Is this something that you've recalled since? No. July of 2009, since your medication's been changed. Whoa. Uh oh. What medication is she on? What medication? I love this trial. I'm dying when the show's done to go upstairs, have a beer, and watch Nancy Grace. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I have a four loco. Maybe. Ew. Maybe have a four loco because there's nothing else. I, I, it's just so weird because it's like, you know, uh, the mother is now trying to cover for the daughter. Yeah. Does Zanny the Nanny testify ever? You know they found Zanny the Nanny? Where? They did find like, Zanny the Zanny, Nanny. Zanny, who's a na like Zanny Rodriguez, who's actually a nanny. Hernandez. I think it was Hernandez. Is Zanny the Nanny some crock that they made up? Or is she it made it up, but it turned but out it, turned it exists. Right. But not just not a nanny for her daughter. Not a nanny for her daughter. Totally random. Right. Like Universal Studios exists too. Yeah. Right. But she, she doesn't work, work there. there. And I'm right. sure there's a sixth floor of their building. Right. But yeah. she doesn't have an. Okay. Right. Exactly. Yeah. She's just really lucky. I yeah. was studying. I was Googling necking. And then I said, let's just go off the cliff and say neck breaking. Why yeah. not? <laughs> Why not? Chlorophyll. Just in case there's chloroform out in the yard making the yeah. large dog tired. I just was in playing, case the dog's tired. I was playing Mortal Kombat. Right. And I was reptile. And I know he spits <laughs> acid. And I was wondering if it's what kind right. of acid he might spit. So I put in reptile acid spit and, and Wouldn't it be great if she was like this? You know, we were thinking about substances that might make the large dog tired. And also how Casey could kill her daughter. And we were Googling. And, you know, we thought maybe, you know, would chloroform do it? We don't know. And then we Googled where to dump a body. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So portable pools are presenting drowning dangers. No shit. Many <laughs> no. reports really? say that portable pools, like miniature pools that include yeah. inflatable or wading pools, are have a higher risk of children drowning in them than larger. I have a great idea. Do. Let's get a pool. <laughs> Let's get something with water. Let's put our infant in there and see what happens. Right. Let's not even for let's the last go inside. Show I'm on. Can we broadcast it either from a pool from or a from a garbage pool? can on Bell Boulevard? <laughs> yeah. We can we could just bring a pool in here. <laughs> I, I mean, really, like people are like, oh no, but it wasn't a deep pool and she still drowned. Like, no shit. People drown in bowls of soup. So Lady Gaga's <laughs> really <laughs> how is that? How does prove that, that <laughs> source that immediately? Please, yes, please prove that. I can do it in do a, it right now in a hot. I was looking at not French onion because the the crouton acts as a, as a flotation device. Yeah. Drowning in soup. Nothing comes up. Manfred's son. I was looking up drowning Manfred in soup. Manfred man and drowning on a dry yeah. land fish soup. I was, look, I was looking baby up. Baby drowning in a bowl of soup. I was looking up drowning in soup and I came That's to so, drowning I don't, your baby. Obviously, you can't laugh at baby in drowning in a bowl of soup. In 2008, 101 sucky ways to die in an article. Man drowns what a in a No, but soup. this is poor parenting, though. This is, this this is horrible parenting. This particular guy was a grown man. It was a grown man that drowned in his bowl of soup. He drowned at Friendly's. <laughs> at Friendly's. Did he also get a chicken tetrazzini with that? Chicken <gasps> tetrazzini. Uh, under 100 <laughs> ways, sucky ways to die. Drowning in a bowl of soup. So people do. Okay. People do. Okay. Yeah. All right. Fine. Do you need a name? Cause I it could happen. Name. No, I, I believe you. Okay. You've have, you have validated the fact so that people drown in soup. How embarrassing it's really embarrassing. Try telling me. Well, if you're like, dead, then, you know, there's nothing like, to be embarrassed about anymore. Like, you that eulogy? He was, like, <laughs> such a great He was guy. a great man. Not he, a smart man. <laughs> but he loved his soup. Mm. He loved his Campbell's till the end. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Lady Gaga's meat dress is yeah. turned into jerky for Good. the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Oh, she's, I've had it with so her. Enough with her. I, I know. Oh, is she, is oh, she oh, oh, deed on her. Did you see what she came out with last time? Who can't? What was it? She had some like green haired outfit I, with I, green pubes. I, like really? Like, what are you I doing? Enough already. I can't. I Pig. Yeah. Enough already. All right. So this is retarded. A Utah man updated his Facebook status during. 
<laughs> during a crime. He um, was holding a woman hostage in a motel for over 16 hours. Um, and he was in a standoff with a SWAT team and decided mm, this is a good time to update my family and friends and what's going mm. on. Haven't played Scrabble in a bit. Yeah. <laughs> surrounding <laughs> but surrounded by the FBI. Friends. Anybody have a yeah, word? Yeah, right. I was about to say, I wonder if anybody answered me on Words of Friends yeah. yet. Anybody have a, w- <laughs> a word I can make with an A, A, three, four? People, I, people get stupid. I mean, really. And in what he wrote, was, and it was funny, is like he yeah, wasn't what did even. He write? Okay, so he wasn't updating like his own stuff. Like he wasn't saying like currently holding woman hostage. He was responding to like other people's <laughs> responses. So he wrote, thank Lol. you, homie. Another response was good looking out. And another person, and then he wrote to another person, do the right thing. <laughs> Unlike me. Yeah, right. Idiot. Exactly. Excellent. So I don't know what to say to that man. So a Pennsylvania slot machine accidentally paid $24,988 too much by accident. The Pittsburgh casino slot machine was supposed to pay out $12. There's nothing else happened in Pittsburgh. Right. Just, just $12. Unfortunately, it paid out 25000 by accident. The Gaming Control Board tells Pittsburgh Post-Gazette that the false jackpot happened on May 29th and they are now going to pull that casino's license because of it. So wait a minute. Do the people have to give the money back? Well, no, because you've... They already have it. I don't think you can take it. You back. never win in those things. Yeah. Like uh, you never win in a casino. You'll, yeah, you'll the never. Player win. was allowed to keep the jackpot, but had to pay all taxes on it. Yeah, I used to get drunk in all the casinos, not even gamble. So I always won. But <laughs> by the way, OJ did an interview with Oprah. Did he? I don't know. And he may or may not have confessed. Really? That's what I told you earlier. Oprah yeah, Winfrey said last week that she was determined to interview O.J. Simpson and got him to finally confess that he murdered Nicole, and Nicole Brown and Ron Goldman. Wow. Uh, well, that was easy. Well, that According provides to the National closure. Acquirer, so the interview was set to, set to be filmed after Simpson confessed he killed the pair in self-defense in a producer of the inside prison. Self-defense in their house? I, I got to read this again. He killed the pair in self-defense to produce a producer from inside prison. I guess that's like, the producer says that. He told the producer, tell Oprah, yes, I did it. I killed Nicole, but it was self-defense. She pulled out a knife on me and I had to defend myself. OJ said that he went to the home and kept getting angrier and angrier and worked himself into absolute rage. Simpson allegedly told the producer he didn't like the way she treated me in front of the kids in, at the restaurant. I didn't like the I didn't like that she routinely had guys over to, and had sex with them in her condo with the kids there. I went over there to give her peace of my mind. Then I took a piece of hers with me. Is that what he said? No, I I, no. I, I, oh, I, I wow. said that. That would have been that would have been great, right? Yeah. Love it. Uh, when he arrived, no one answered the ha- at the house. Uh, he started po- pounding on the door and shouting. The door allegedly then swung open and Nicole was standing there with a kitchen knife in hand. Well, didn't we hear the story years ago also? Like this was the theory that she had a knife with her. She kept yelling, go away and waved the knife at him. I mean, but this is all, of course, this is a producer saying it. And now a spokesperson for Oprah says it's not true. So what is the story? That is the question. All right, Jess, what else? Uh, I don't over. know. So the pierced cat seller. Yeah, what happened? Our conviction was <laughs> upheld. Remember last week we spoke yeah. about we how she's being. Yeah. Court. Well, it was upheld, thank goodness. So she's going away. Stop piercing cats. Yeah, really. So the NCAA. What is that? The NCAA. Uh, okay, fine. Okay. Says that oh, drug that testing. It. Uh, says that drug testing shows an increase in pot use. In the NCAA. Yes. College athletes are subjected to NCAA mandated just drug testing for marijuana. And now they seem to have found. Am I wrong that they should pay them? They pay should pay what? these guys. Pay what? College kids? No, NCAA players. They should give them incentive. something very small. 20000 30000 I don't know the economics behind the whole thing. Well, the, the college makes all the money and they get nothing. Yeah. And I mean, they can't. If they, it, are they getting scholarships? Are they getting a free ride to the Some school? of them. Some okay. of them. I think they should get paid. Did you see that the South Park did a great job? They um, 
Cartman decides he's going to come up with his own like basketball league, and yeah. it's like Crack Baby Olympics, like ah, the Crack Baby League. That's great. South Park. And they yeah. fight for and they fight for crack, and that's they're coming cool. down on him like you can't do this. You're not paying them. You got to pay them now. They're they're athletes. My cousin just wrote and a Broadway go, show with those two guys, Book of Mormon. Right. Dude, your cousin. Your cousin. Yeah. He wrote Avenue Q too. No shit. He's no joke. Yeah, so it's he, nice he, he just wanted Tony. Christmas. He just wanted Tony. He did. Uh, that's excellent. Yeah, it's cool when they bring him up. You know, they're like, "Yeah, Bobby's winning that Tony." I'm like, "Yeah, I'm yeah. performing at Combeat uh, Creole Restaurant on yeah. Thursday." <laughs> yeah. Excellent. All right, so. Kids a genius. Went to Yale. The whole nine. Nice. There's a lot of drug use in Russia. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot, a lot yeah. of things in Russia. Yeah, yeah. I don't did, know why. Did this you was hear an the story? It's actually a really interesting article. What is going on? About the new drug that they have? Yeah, they're ma- well, they're making they're making their own heroin. Yeah, they're making their own <gasps> heroin. I might have to go back. It only takes about a half an hour of boiling and distilling and mixing and shaking. It's it's made with codeine. Yeah, what ma- r- remains is a caramel colored um, substance that you Sounds can good. inject into your veins. Sounds like a topping at Red Mango. I was about to yeah. say, can you put it on <laughs> ice cream? How amazing would that be? We're getting one. Can we? We're getting Red Mango like on our block, like on Bell. Really? Yeah, I can't wait. But it's gross. I love red mango. Are you Car- kidding me? It's Car- gross. Carvel's amazing. Oh, oh Carvel no, too, but no. Red Carvel is not good. Red mango Dude, is Carvel's but- not good. What are you crazy? No, no. Carvel is delicious. I hate, I do the numbers on Carvel and then do the I numbers hate on ice cream. Yeah. I'm the only person that dislikes ice cream. Well, I like frozen yogurt. I like plain frozen TCBY. yogurt, no sugar. What about TCBY? TCBY was good. I love TBCY. TCBY, that place was excellent. Yeah. Okay. I love TBCY. I love it. TCBY. TCBY. It's not you like friendly. You don't have the memory. TBCY. You're not going to come here after a no, game. No, rem- I have memories. With your TCBY. family and your friends and let me serve you. Just let me serve you, please. So a psychic octopus is on the loose in Germany. <laughs> oh, the German. He has already won the honor Where of was he in 1938? Determining oh. the Women's World Cup. He is apparently given um, an option. Yeah. Of the two teams on barrels, the team names are written on barrels, and then the octopus, the psychic one, has to swim over to the clam barrels and choose a clam out of one of the barrels. Apparently, he will only eat out of one barrel. He doesn't eat out of both barrels, and that's how they figured out who wins. Oh my god! How do they know he's a psychic octopus? Yeah, <laughs> how do they figure that <laughs> out? How do we? Just he predict. He has predicted eight World Cup wins. In a row last oh. summer. Okay, so 50 50 chance. 50 50 chance. He just he's points and he's he's been. He's not pointing, he's eating. He's isn't, eating. Isn't this Try how, to follow the story. Isn't this kind of how the guys from South Park said that the guys from Family, yeah, Guy, Family Guy write Guy. their episodes? Yeah, they write it with, the with whales. It was, right. No, it was the, the manatee. The manatee, okay. yeah. The octopus. Manatees. Little octopus. Okay, I'm up to the last story. Woo. Are you ready? Yes. So a prison escapee was caught after knocking on the wrong door after he escaped. The escaped convict was caught following a day on the loose after he knocked on a cabin door only to find out that the man renting the lodge was an off-duty guard at the prison that he just fled. Boo. What? You don't get it? R- read it again. For 39-year-old him. man <laughs> from the Washington State Penitentiary he, he escapes. Right. He's off out in the wild for a day. And then he comes to a cabin. So he's going to call somebody. So he knocks on the door to use the phone. And when he answers the, the door, the guy who's renting the log cabin that he just knocked on was an off-duty prison guard from the prison that he just escaped. Oh, so wow. he, 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 what an idiot. Yeah. So they like, they tussled a little because he was still in the like. Shackles. He, and the orange jumpsuit. <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't you think you'd rather run around naked than be in the orange jumpsuit? I have a question. Say. But they tussled a little and he won. How do they always find him? Well, when you knock on them. No, no, no. But how do they, like, you get out of, you escape prison, right? Yeah. How are you always found? Like, how do they, there's so many, like, if I escape prison here in New York, let's say I escape Rikers. Okay. And I end up in Manhattan. The odds are nobody will ever find me. Well, a lot of people that escape prison go do criminal things again. Right. That's very quickly. <laughs> they go right back to where they live. Like, they're not smart about it. It's not like Tim Robbins and the Shawshank Redemption, how they have this whole plan yeah. and they go to an island. They or go whatever. to the island. They go to the south. The of Mexico, box is here. Whatever. Hit. That's not the way it works. They just go back to where they were and right. they start putting up Facebook statuses like, yo, dog, I just broke out of jail. LOL. Yeah. Come through. I'm getting slutty. I'm getting slutty. slutty. Yeah. I'm gonna put my kid in the garbage. Like I could never I can never I can never 
get away with a crime. No, like, well, they I'll also go to the family. So, like, if you had a girlfriend or a wife, I want to get in touch with them. They follow you to those. Houses. I want to get in touch with them. Well, they found that dude in Long Island really pretty quick. Who, the really Medford like guy? That's only yeah. because the wife yeah. came in and confessed to all. Oh, did she? I didn't read the whole story. I just saw the yeah, pictures. Yeah, the wife came in and was like, my he got all those Oxycontin. He's like, you're not getting any. She's like, yeah. your ass, I'm not. He did yeah. it for Oxys. Yeah, and she went to the police and said, quote, my husband did it. My husband did it all. Well, said, no, but they said that she was his getaway driver. Yeah, she was yeah, a getaway she's driver. She's going away, too. Well, yeah. she might have struck she, a deal, which is why she's she's getting uh, the wedding picture. No, 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 they no, tell they, you you've struck a deal, and then they go get you. You see the their no. wedding picture? She looks so tank in that tanked in that picture. Is she's getting a like charge no with shit, obstruction of justice? Yeah, yeah, but the, 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 she'll, she'll get probation. Like, we don't have the death penalty in the state, which is bollocks. We should no, have we, the death we penalty. Did, they took it away, right? They took it away, yeah. man. Mm. Took it away. We had it. We should go, yeah. go, go on record. But they go. never fried anybody. Pataki put it in. We have lethal. We don't fry people. No, but I mean, they, they never, they didn't use it. Yeah, it's like the brother said lethal they never injection used it. would be too quick for him. They we never used, justice. no, did, they never took, I, don't, I still think we have. Uh, I think the death penalty in certain instances is appropriate. He should go to jail and get one of these every night he's there. What's the, oh okay you're doing a rape thing I didn't know what you meant I thought you meant like <laughs> some I always thought it was a like a rape, rape I got gotcha. you I didn't I know thought, like a pound like people are his friends uh, no, <laughs> this like yeah this wait a minute thing. it was yeah, that's it right. was a case it was a case in 2004 it was it was deemed unconstitutional in New York State to do what state by state death penalty oh. information I over one over a year ago one year ago hundreds of people cr- uh, crowded the streets and halls they deemed it uh, unconstitutional. Uh, the last person to be executed was 1976. I thought we still have it. No, it was taken away. June 2004, New York State Supreme Court, by a rule of four to three, ruled the state's capital punishment statute unconstitutional. The yeah. decision appeared. Yeah, so we don't have it anymore. So but they never used it. It was a big deal in the 90s. It was like, oh, Pataki's going to do it. It was a big part of his campaign that he's going to bring back the death penalty. And he brought it back and they didn't use it on anybody. Mm. I think they should. I think they should go to Times Square and what use it waste. once a month. I don't know. I always think that if you do something so brutal, so heinous, yeah. so disgusting, you you know what I mean. I mean, right. listen, man. Yeah, who need? Who, yeah. Like you're right. Times Square. Who need? Who needs a New Year's Eve? I'll tell you ball? what you do. You make it into a pay per view. Oh my you god. You take right. the money. You take the money. No, it, it's have it's one of the Times Square M and M's pull the switch. Pull the switch. How great! Yeah. Come on. No, you would. Come on. No, this is what one you do. This is how you do it. it. I'm saying in, instead of the New Year's Eve ball, you have somebody hanging. Can you imagine how many people won't commit a crime? Like you make you you make it visible to these people. Say, look, this I is what like this it. is what will happen. They won't. It'll change the way. This is why in Singapore nobody fucking commits a crime because they're terrified to even chew gum. Because they're getting they're getting their arms cut off left and right. Right. This is what they have to do. Do they cut your arm off in Singapore? No, they lash okay. you. They yeah, lash they you. Lash you but that, do you remember that, that kid that, that, that did graffiti and then they lashed him? The yeah. Singapore yeah, Canaan? What was that. his name? The stupid kid. And he deserved it. Of course he, he deserved, deserved it. it. But you had people in America saying yeah. that, that that was people, wrong. Yeah, that was wrong. Because he's no. American. Bullshit. No. You go to another country. How many and lashes did up. he get? 20 maybe. Who knows? And what did he do? Why did he go to another country and, and I think his father was from there and he was like visiting. Well, dude, and he, I mean, and you, he tagged up the wall. Exactly, man. You look everywhere. They tag up everywhere. They find a way. They, they go to other countries to do it now. You know, whatever. Really? He, like he Singapore? You're going to Singapore to I do I know this? certain bars in the village you can pay to get 20 lashes. You can get yeah. lashed. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you people pay. That's not a punishment in some circles. But this is my theory. Uh, this is my idea. Uh, you do a monthly pay-per-view. You, you air it in Times Square and you do a monthly pay-per-view. The proceeds from the pay-per-view go to the family yeah. that were affected by this, this animal that and killed whoever. And you have whoever. an M&M do it. And you have the M&M do it. I like it. the yeah. M&M. Exactly. I love that and fat M&M. Yeah. It goes to a good <laughs> cause. So people would watch yeah. it yeah. just for that. Yeah. You, the proceeds go to the family. Imagine like... Your last you, meal is always a Pop-Tart with butter. Pop-Tart with butter. Pop-Tart with butter and hamburger. Yeah. I, I was fat. Like me and my friends always discussed a death penalty last meal as to like what... What would what you get? Would be your last meal. Would, yeah, yeah, like we yeah, bring that that's up always a question. I, what would I, be your last meal? It's such a tough thing. It like, is, I, man. It really is. A th- because you know what? You order stuff. Like you could order filet mignon and you get a cheeseburger. Like you don't always get KFC. You, Minus really? KFC. Really? Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. I get the bucket. Yeah. The bucket, the gravy, what I do. I get the bucket <laughs> and the bucket is half filled with gravy. <laughs> okay. So and and the and it's all drumsticks. The, 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 the drumsticks are inside. And then on top of the drumsticks, it's mozzarella and, and cheddar melted. 
Mm. On top of the um, wow, he on top of the this. I have on top of the biscuit, and the biscuit is over also with uh, yeah, mashed you potato. Can order and that. You know what you're gonna get? A chicken strip. That's it. They're not gonna give. You know what I mean? I want right. I want my last meal to be delivered from Friendly's Fran. Yeah. To me, <laughs> <laughs> because she takes a job seriously. I like it. <laughs> on that note, let's wrap it up. Time for plugs. Uh, let me. Uh, I, 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 everything is all cockeyed here because I don't even have any of the clips. I could sing it. Everything is all screwed God, up. Man, all this, all this food talk throughout this, this show. Yeah. I know. It's like Tim and I are talking about like starving, you know, trying to Losing eat healthy. Wait, I'm trying to drink celery juice here. And I took a sip. It's not that bad. It's really it, not that it, bad. It, it, it ain't good.